Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Wow, they really tidied up the place. I'm not I'm not really surprised, but I'm actually pretty impressed. And I got gold bar just for helping the German too. So that's pretty nice. This is Lover of Ladies here. Like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, Subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button so you know when I upload my videos as well. <laughs> old friend, right, old friend. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many now times. you did. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. You are. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We, we lost men, bro. Society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of but, course, there's by no killing people, right? Wow. We're thieves. Dismissive. The world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts now i'll give you that but come on dreamers it's nice out. dreamers by stealing answer, by robbing by I'm killing delusional bro you see at this point arthur needs to realize that dutch he he does not have the best interest for others. He only has the best interest on his own terms. And that's the sad part. Sometimes with blind loyalty. Blind loyalty forces you to either ignore the red flags or be willing to deal with the red flags and this is it right here fishing fishing we're just gonna go and fish now even though we're basically running away from the law we have time to fish that's cute i don't know I don't know, man. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. And also, he has a plan, I bet. Oh, it was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Your plan sucks. Your plan really like sucks, where? Dutch. Seriously. Some ideas hatching, of course. I need you with me, not against me. Uh, you, mm, it's pretty hard, you but okay. You do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. Didn't you say the same Start thing when we were in Blackwater? And the rocks. Whatever. 
That's Whatever. We've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Like I said, I just don't believe nor do I care about Dutch anymore. This man, he's just full of it, really. And that's the sad part. A lot of these people don't realize he's just full of it. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. Is that one of our own? How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Nice. We can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. I got you. I got you. We need them Anderson boys alive. Of Come course. On, All right. I'm trying. Don't Ready rush me. Faster. Come on. What's your well, name? Stop rushing me. Of course it is. You got flimsy locks on your little cage back there. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? Oh. Oh. Oh, Lord. Yeah, we really, we really are behind. Idiot. Nice. Okay. Slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Say no more. Say no more. This is crazy. Let me see how fast I can ride through. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get okay. As as you can. You think you I got you. Me? me? Because you ride like my okay. You Bye. Woo! Oh, and I got a punch while well, trying to help. Great. You think I'm in the mood for that? Nope. Next. And I got two boys running away from me, too. Man, this is a lot of work. I ain't gonna lie. I'm doing all this work for what? To get one of our guys free? That's the one who's not doing anything. Bye. Bye. Get out. What? What? Get out. Get out. Come on. Nothing like a good couple of punches would solve this mess. This guy's no joke, though. Come on. You done? Okay, one more. One more, one more. Come on, come on. I'm right behind you. There you go. What? We need to bother. Let me go. Can't do that. I guess I'm gonna have to fight. Whoa. Okay. Okay. 
Ooh. Ooh, and I'm getting cut. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I'm getting cut. You think I actually want this? I don't want no new scars. Screw it. At least I know how it blocks, so I'm pretty decent at this. Now, if this was my girl, J9, she would have been knocking this guy out. No issues. Yeah, everything's good. Everything's good. Damn. Let me see my face. Wow, he really got me good. And I got cut. Whew. I'm just glad I'm not dead, though. Bring him out here. Told you I'll get all of them. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? Yep. I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. What now? Anders Anderson? What kind of a name is that? Hello, my name is Andra Anderson. On the back for me for stopping the train. For what? We both stopped the train. How are you going to take all the credit? Corny. Seriously, you corny. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, no. I wouldn't mm. exactly say that. I mean. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? Yes. This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. How what convenient. It war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. And some gossip, too. The Greys versus the Brathwater? Sounds like some Romeo and Juliet type of family against family. And yeah, I know, I'm not going to use any weapons, and I'm not going to cause trouble, quote-unquote. Even though that's what he said the last time when we were getting to Valentine, and look what happened. So, like I said, I don't favor Dutch. Frankly, he's full of it. And I expect that we will be making a big mistake and have to run away from Rhodes as well. That's my prediction. We have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. You got a barber and a bath, cause oh, you know. And that's your friend, right? I would like yep. to shave and bathe, okay. you know. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Of, that for today. of course, I'll do that. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Hey. All right. We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, passion uh, for justice? Idea, oh, man, that's, that's funny. No more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hello? He's 
Better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you. Wow, enough. I told you. It's some around. Romeo and Juliet and stuff going on between the I'm families. Caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Oh, sorry, Braithwaite's. I said Braithwaters. My bad. My bad. Marrying cousins or not marrying. Ew. Some sweet home Alabama stuff? Nah, I'm good. Miss me with that. About bounty. There's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Some super agents. you mean. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Adios. See, I need a shave. My beard, my beard is growing too much. So these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place. See what of course, there. of course. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Honestly, let's go fish. Sure. Why not? Why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Yeah, except it's so dusty here. But it is quiet though, I gotta admit. I like this. But seriously though, let me take a look at the map. Is there no barber shop here for real? Or a bath? We have the general store, newspaper seller, we got the butcher, we have the post office, the saloons there. Huh. So it says here, food, baths, and entertainments. Maybe I should be able to do a bath there. Hopefully. Hopefully. But no barber, and that kind of sucks. Because honestly, I really need a shave. Look at Arthur. Oh, there's All my right, horse! Yay! Me. Okay. Okay. You lead, I'll follow. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. You know, I don't know any of these names. Fish as you are catching criminals but all I hear oh, is food, that. food, and more food everyone for something but his information is good plus we are now ingratiated with the local law I'd ironically wild diversion all around Shalone is like a bad penny I'm not sure how good a magician he is but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it where does he go everywhere and nowhere it seems we wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. Ah, oh, okay. So that makes we sense. pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself. Open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, Look at him mimicking his voice. Give me a little privacy. I ate a rotten oyster. 
Hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Chelonis. What a terrible thought. Damn, the sheet's real. That is so funny. You know what? I am in the mood to fish now. I'm not gonna lie. That's what I like about Red Dead Redemption 2. The fact that you're able to fish. Hey there, fella. And yeah, it's pretty silly to do in this game, but honestly, I find that to be pretty relaxing, so. And the fact that this the game the teaches you how to fish, to too. That's pretty funny to me. I better be able to catch a big fish because I'm in the mood for some fish and chips, you know? Whoa. Look at the view! Look at the lake! Wow, this is beautiful. And what, the camp's right over there or something? Good to get to deeper water. Hey, those the boats you mean? Yes, good. Can we talk about how clear the water is in this game? Like, Connecticut would never be like this. In Connecticut, when you go to the beaches... I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. When you go to the beaches in Connecticut, because that's where I am in, the water is so dirty. You can't even see your hand if you put your hand inside the water. And also, tell me why the water is actually brownish green. This looks like a fine vessel. Like Dookie Brown. Okay. It's Come disgusting. On, Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. And you know I how good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> nice. Nice. Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. Damn, the <laughs> shade too yet too again. Me, I enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water. And pray okay. Good luck and stupid fish. Say no more. Let's go. Stupid luck and good fish. That'll do too. Get us a bit deeper. Got you. Ooh, right here. This is the spot right here. Because it's marked yellow, so this must be where all the good fish are at. Good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Okay, so tap. You should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. There you go. Use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better bait wheel. I'll Dance do the bread. Something big like a sturgeon. Right here. What's wrong with a good old worm? Okay. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers. Why can I not take this? Hold on. No bait? What about... Oh, right here. Bluegill Duh. and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure right. moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. See, this is what I'm talking about. This game shows you how to fish. Obviously, it's not the real Got thing, him, but it's there closest to it. Damn it, I lost him. But yeah. Hiding, Ooh. Okay. Wow, I was too slow to hook the fish. Okay. But anyways, the waters in Connecticut know, are man. so dookie fish brown. You can't even see your hand if you put your hand in the water. It's really sad. Because the, the locations in Connecticut are actually pretty nice. But, I don't know. Something about that Connecticut air just screams out dirty, you know? Because when you're in the beach, you're supposed to, you know, be welcomed with nice, crisp beach air but in all honesty when you go to the connecticut beaches it just smells like sewer it smells like hot ass and sewer come on fishy fishy come on come on i got one 
There Is it go. food? Well done, Arthur. Dinner? You can grow a lot bigger than that. Well, it told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. Fifty pounds? Like Holy cow! Good job, Arthur. All right, I'll keep it. Arthur's pleased with that one. Nice. And honestly, dude, it's four pounds. You can quickly, you can quickly make hey, a good boy. amount of food with that. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh yeah, you do. He was maybe 20, 21, walked in all full of himself. What? A big feast. Toasted him all Talking, night. talking this smack, was 15 right? 15 years ago. Talking I all that smack. <laughs> then the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out. So how did you enjoy those bass? Oh no! You can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Whew! He he did a cheat code. That's funny as hell. All right, I let me go fishing with this fella back in the day. here. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice. You know, when the fish struggles, well, the controller well, shakes. I, After all, I, was I feel like that's really cool detail, years. honestly. Oh, there he is. Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Fish on the line, Arthur. I am. I'm here. I'm here. Hopefully it's another four-pounder. How much is it? That night until Kappa went and scoffed a lot. You never Four pounds. I'll take it. Thank uh, you. Yeah, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him. Right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. As a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. Cough, it cough, hint, hint. To lie low in New Austin after what? the ferry job. I liked it there. No Still fish, come on. Wild, the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Ooh, I got another one. I got another one. Let me see. I hope it's another four pounder, nice honestly. Done, How Did much? I tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Four pounds. So. I, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. That sucks, Dutch. And I didn't always see eye to eye. What, mommy I issues? I was always a very obedient child. I can Could have fooled me. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. I might be only one catching all these that fishes. Like got one. Oh, Jose, I finally got one. Nice. Dutch, you haven't caught anything yet. I see you. All right, all right, come on. I I see another four pounder right here, right? Let me see. Yep, yeah, four pounds. I'll keep it. Hell yeah, food is food. I'm trying to grab enough fish for me and the misses. Honestly, though, I would love to try fishing in real life because this sounds pretty fun. This this right here. Looks pretty fun, pretty relaxing. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to catch a lot of fish like how I am in this game, but still. I definitely want to try. Because this is really fun. You got a bite. 
Ooh, finally. Okay. Ah, I was too slow. Okay. All right, I'm going to catch one more fish, and then I'm just going to head on my way, honestly. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Yep. I know, I know. I got it. I got it. Come on. Come on. Of course. I'm a boss. Nice. I'm going to keep this. And I'm going to call it a day, because, you know, I don't want to fish forever. Already? Yeah. All right, let's go. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We can Hell yeah, back. let's Not go. Far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. Okay, sing along. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and knocked off some. What? What kind of song is this? I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tears got burned and so did I. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. But you know... What song we should be singing? What? what kind of a song is that, bro? Look at us, three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who leak up from the sea. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. How fitting shall the song is, honestly. Round, 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 shall we go dance this round, round, round? Men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men that do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground. Beautiful, fantastic, Bravo. stupendous. Bravo. Well, you know, we should not let the folks back again. Yo, you funny as hell. Okay, we're here. All right. I think I. Well, I mean, we. Uh-huh. You're gonna be okay. You sure about that? I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. I, I saw that look, Hosea. I saw that look. I'm gonna stay quiet, though. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.